Okay, so never allow her to go say hi to a dog ever unless she's sitting and checks in with you first. That will help control her excitement with little dogs and it also works on the opposite end of the spectrum. If she thinks she has to like be the judge and protect, same with everything, she needs to look to you. Don't let her go. So now just find a spot where she'll relax. She probably won't settle until the dog goes out of sight, which is okay. But always when that happens, do not resume your walk until she chills. Otherwise she's gonna be set off by the next thing even more. So make her work through it. Okay, it's gone. I would go down to her, shorten the leash. So she's forced to literally be there. Yes, there we go. Now do a down after something like that happens. So she does that with big dogs. Has she ever gone up to them when she's doing that? And is she super excited or is it like when nippy? When she comes to them, she cowers down. Oh, it's like a protective thing. Okay, so never allow her to go say hi to a dog ever unless she's sitting and checks in with you first. That will help control her excitement with little dogs and it also works on the opposite end of the spectrum of if she thinks she has to like be the judge and protect, same with everything, she needs to look to you first. So if you see a big dog, it's not a bad thing to cross the street and get her attention there. You have to figure out what her threshold is of where you can get her attention when that other dog is near and then will work to decrease it. So basically step one is calling her. Step two is in front of her face trying to lure her around. And if that doesn't work, then you have to back up fast. Like if I'm holding this and she just doesn't care at all, back up quick because she's about to probably start barking or whining. Going up to the dog park, that's really the only place unless the dog is just like sitting there that you can control the distance up to the dogs. Like they're moving, but they're in a fence. So you could do this and that's the dog park up there. Otherwise dogs come in closer to you. They go out of sight. She doesn't really get a chance to work through it. And you can see her level of obsession with other dogs by how much she was still worked up when that boxer like went around the corner, wasn't even visible she was still so this is something you really want to work on and it's good practice when you can work back up to something that she couldn't do before going back and forth like this is going to help her a lot more than in this time just letting her go up to Oso because that will just feed into her issues Millie come <gasps> yes Mill that was a good one yes Mill what a good girl so Millie come <gasps> yes Millie, come. <gasps> yes. I can't believe how fast she's responding there right now. Like that's really, really good. Sit. Yes, good. Like I'm surprised she snapped out of that right then without having to go backwards. <laughs> Sit. Millie. Yes. <gasps> good, Millie. Like down. She does. That's good though. Most dogs fight it outside. So the more she lays down out here, the better. Millie, down. Yes, up here, thank you. Good. Like this is the ultimate form of self-control when she can look at a dog and just like look away, look to you on her own. You know, being like, how do I get there? Oh, this is how, on her own. Yes. Just like that, yes. That's when you know you can definitely move forward. So like this would be a better socialization for her, obviously, you wouldn't have this amount of time to work up, but if you got this close to a dog, yeah. yeah, it will take, it will be shorter and I'll bring another dog next time so we can do it again. Neighbor's dogs are not as well trained as him. That's Set. The, yeah. the dog park idea is a really good idea. You yeah. Can, you can Just know the that though, because the dogs are moving, you might end, I don't know, a hundred feet away from the dog park. Like you might not right. get all the way up, but that's because it's a more challenging thing. Down. Maybe we can get a decoy just yeah. No, it would work perfect. I do that with dogs. I do that actually with dogs all the time, especially if they have like a dog. Yeah, like a big dog toy. But I do it a lot of with dogs who have an insane prey drive, like rabbits or something. Millie, sit. We put a little stuffed animal out, and they obsess over it. Okay, you want to go say hi to Oso? Tell Millie to go say hi. Millie, go say hi. <laughs> Yes, Millie. Yes, good girl. So literally, if like that's her interest level, yes, that's better. Yeah, like she's not gonna yes. lose her friendliness to dogs. It keeps it controlled. That worked him off. He's like, I just wanna listen to the music. Millie, 
Yes, yes Mel! If like a big dog is approaching her, I see so many people like holding the leash tight and being like, oh my God, I hope this goes well. Just be getting her focused. Cause if she's focused on you while this dog is doing something crazy, see like that, yes, it could have gone bad if her focus is on him. Go say hi. Yes. Yes, yes Millie. Millie, you want to say hi? Yes, oh, good girl. So good. Yeah.